Bitcoin in a brief Saturday, fork of mania and a flying cars. Bitcoin private developer Rez Creighton is Bitcoin private no more. He's been booted out of the project with controversially forked from Bitcoin and Z Classical earlier this year. What we think is that it should be possible to do the same with a Bitcoin and a Prime coin. Read like that, it sounds like Rash was ejected simply for expressing his opinion. But the statement triggered Jackson Plummer's bullshit director, prompting him to do some digging. After being put on the spot by ex coin developer Jackson, Rash confessed that he had bought a bunch on a Prime coin, which his science plumped just like the classes did ahead of the Bitcoin private fork. Jackson then lived had the Marian scarily of cryptocurrency for price manipulation and hopping from fork to fork and urges the community to start calling out such behavior. Red for his part blocked his antagonist on Twitter and merrily urged everyone to join the Bitcoin Prime Telegram group to discuss his latest dual fork. Place your bets on a which dying coin Red will buy up and fork next. Uber Air? Anyone? You're probably tired of hearing about this specific new ICOs that are Uber 4X. Well, it's hard to describe Women Global's Air Taxi as anything other than Uber for Air. The Wachels will be making their debut at the Futurama Blockchain Innovator Summit in Dubai, May 3rd to 6th. The question is, will anyone be brave enough to step inside the tank of the sky? For delegates who aren't convinced by the prospect of an oversized drones, the even also promises comes rather than a hot air balloon flight. Blockchain conferences are turning into burning men. Don't talk to CZ unless you hold crypto. There's been some debate over whether owning a particular cryptocurrency or indeed any crypto should prevent a journalist from writing about it. Some publications such as New York Times bar their writers from doing so, while others require full disclosure. Finance boss CZ has taken the opposite approach, complaining that there is a generation of journalists emerging who have never done a single blockchain transaction, writing, teaching the public about the blockchain. Digitally scarce pillow cases are so hot right now. There are those who see the rise of non fungible tokens and the digital collectibles as a little more than a fad. And then there are others, such as digital currency groups Barry Silbert, who are bullish on NFTs and Decentraland in particular. Crypto Goods launched earlier this month as a site where you can have your crypto kisses printed on a max, pillowcases and a bunch of other merch. The USP is that only the token owner is allowed to order the sign of their cats. This is the future we chose.